We can manage File Explorer in Windows Admin Center. We're on a 2019 server and we're connected to our Windows Admin Center. Just click on Files on the left hand side. And when the files come up, we've got a lot of different options that we can choose. So first we can expand the hard drives that are on our server. And from there we can open up any of our folders. We can create a new folder as well. We'll just call this one test, click submit, and it's going to show up in our list of folders. Now let's just confirm that by going into our PC, go into the same place. We should see a folder called test, and there it is. Another interesting thing we can do is we can upload files or download files using the Windows Admin Center website. So for instance, if we wanted to upload a file, we'll just click on upload. We specify the locations, or we can just do a drag and drop, whatever we want. I'll just grab a file from the Downloads folder and click Submit. Now I can just go to my File Explorer and just confirm that there it is. The file has shown up in my iNet Pub. And if I drag it into Test, then I can double click on Test and it should be in there now, and there it is. I can also click on Download and it will download the file and it'll choose whatever the default location is for the download. So if I click on downloads folder here, then I can see there is the file that I just downloaded. We also have the option to delete the file and now it's gone. We can hit the drop down. We can choose more and properties and sharing. Let's go back up a level. And we'll click on Test, go to More, and we'll go to Properties. This is the same if you right-clicked on the file and just looked at the properties. You don't see all the different tabs here, of course, but you do see the same type of information. If we clicked on More and Share, then we can share this file. I'll just type in with all domain users, click Add, and Submit. Now let's see if the sharing worked. We'll put in the UNC path, so it's backslash, backslash, and the name of the server. And there's our test folder nicely shared. And we can also choose to rename it if we want. We'll just call this test1 now. And now it's called test1. The other thing we can do is if we have a file that we can extract, then we can choose the extract option. So it has to be something like an MSI file or some other type of file that can be extracted. And then we can extract it into many smaller files, if it's, even if it's a zip file, for instance. So that's how we manage File Explorer in our Windows Admin Center.